This year we started off with four hunters, but by October we were already down to two. Neil and his wife were preparing for a new baby, so he was scratched off the list. And John, he was moving into a new house. Scratch him too. That left the two only real hunters in the group, Kit and Martin. Let's see what happened. There's a lot of work that goes into setting up the camping trip that's organizing all of the equipment and, that we need to take and make sure that we have one of everything and sometimes two. And then we have to make sure we have all the food for a whole week. That includes the Shinerbach beer for Martin Riddle. Once, the, uh, once we get all organized, then we have to load up the, the Jeep, and that's the car that we've been taking with us every year. And uh, we head off, and that's a picture of us about midway through the trip stopping for gas. We always get there at night, and so nighttime is when we have to set up the tents and, and get everything organized. It makes it a little more diff difficult. This year, instead of the rifle being broken, Martin had his broken camera. So it was nice to learn a few new um, curse words in German and in Spanish. Once that was all done, then we lit up the campfire and we enjoyed the evening. The first night at the, at the camp is always a special night. The next morning when you wake up, one of our favorite things to do is have coffee on the bluff. And the, the pictures are just gorgeous. The view is, is out of this world. Looks like a, a, a puzzle, a picture from a puzzle. And uh, after coffee's done, then we stoke up the fire again and we start making breakfast because we got a big day in front of us setting up all the stands. Breakfast typically on the first day is a big pot of oatmeal along with some coffee and, and other treats. So after breakfast, we head out and set up all the stands. And this is a, a tree, a ladder stand that we have, and this is a second ladder stand that two people can sit in. We have to cut the shooting lanes after the year of growth. Sometimes you can't see where you need to see to shoot. Uh, this is a, a climbing tree stand that we have that's portable. So after we do our scouting, we figure out where the best place is to put that. And we also set up what we call the pillbox. It's a little seat among a bunch of boulders, but it's a great stand. I've seen some dough there. Uh, it's a really good cover. As you can see from this picture, that's Martin right there. And uh, from a distance, uh, the deer can't see you. We also um, spread corn uh, along some of the areas to give the deer something to eat when they come by, so they'll stop and eat. And that takes about a whole day. After everything's all set up, then we head into town to a sporting goods store called A to Z Sporting Goods. That's where we get to chat with the locals and buy our hunting license and pick up any gear that we've forgotten. But this year, we got a very special musical treat from a group of local gentlemen that come there on a weekly basis and practice playing their music. It was from this little jam session that I got the inspiration for this year's um, theme song, and it's called Red Wing. It's a bluegrass song. Thank you. 
after we finish up at A to Z, then we do come back to the camp and do a little more housekeeping. We set up, make sure everything's all set up in the tent for the next day, which is opening morning. Uh, we organize all of our tables, our food. This is our preparation table where we keep our beef jerky and some drinks and utensils and things like that that need to stay off the ground. Over here we have our coolers, have our drinks and, and refrigerated things, and the black box has our dry goods in it. This year, though, we have a special treat joining us almost every night. It's the Duke of Oil, Duke Clement. Uh, he was there to tell jokes and help us eat the food and share uh, good times. Uh, that night, we cook up some bratwurst and uh, tell hunting stories and get ready for the next day. Because, as we said, the next day was opening opening morning of deer season. So we were very eager to wake up and to have a great hunt. So the idea is to go to bed early so we can get up early and get to the deer stands before sunrise. And come sunrise, we are still in the tents. <laughs> My alarm clock didn't go off. Dang it, I was so mad. We were scurrying around trying to get dressed and as we're getting dressed, we're hearing gunshots going off in all different directions. And we finally made it out to our stands and we didn't see a single deer all morning of opening morning. Very depressing. But we wouldn't be very good hunters if we let a little setback like that get in the way of our appetite. So we came right back to the camp, cooked up some bacon and some hot cakes, and we had a great breakfast so we could be fueled and ready for the, the rest of the day, the second hunt. Oops, okay. Up there, see if I can get this thing to zoom in. Nope. But up there behind that green tree is my is the uh, tripod stand. And it's up against that, that tall tree right there, but it's right behind the green part. And I shot about 60 yards to about right here and to here. And this is where she where we found the first blood spots and then she ran all the way into the woods about 75 yards because it didn't do a very good job of shooting So she didn't leave a very good track where she went so I had to pretend like I was an injured deer and run through the woods and running through every opening I could until eventually I got lucky and I ran upon her because it was get, starting to get dark and I found her and here she was and she was lying there and just followed the exact same trail that I did. So I was really happy because this was the first deer I had taken in probably about 10 years. And um, it was big news. So we got the deer um, loaded up and took it down to the processing plant. And they got to work on that so we could get back to hunting. That's what we were there for. So we got back to camp and we started hunting. And we didn't find anything. So we went back and we ate at the campfire and we hunted some more. Hunted and hunted and then we went back to the campfire again. And we hunted some more, and uh, the rest of this the rest of this hunting trip kind of ended in a rainstorm. But uh, that was okay too because that gives us all a good time to enjoy the rain, sit back and take a nap, and and uh, that was the end of the 2012 hunting season. We got we came home with one deer that year. <laughs>